one in losers uh, quarters. TKH's own medal, even though the group does not exist anymore, according to uh, someone else that used to be part of TKH and DK Dan. Oh man, I mean, and DK Dan going with his secondary Ryu in this matchup, probably a little bit stronger, because you were talking about how it's difficult for DK, and DK Dan probably knows that. So right. he might as well opt for the secondary and see how that pulls off with that. And so far, a little bit of a stronger start, but Metal's starting to catch on to his shenanigans. Oh no. Uh, but then, yeah, <laughs> that, uh, that setup for Shoryu, it's getting closer. I think at this point now, uh, if he gets the Shoryu on, uh, he can get the Shoryu on Metal. Oh. Both of them trying to take their time. Yeah, I mean, he ate that. He ate that metal blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, in metal wow. knowing. He immediately air, immediately um, just trolled. Oh my goodness, caught him with the down air spike. My goodness. And from a dominating lead to, to now losing a stock, DK Dan is in a little bit of trouble because right now uh, Metal can just kind of camp him out. But throwing out the shore you, but almost just narrowly <laughs> killing. Metal's not afraid to take his time in this matchup, just no. really play the corner of the stage. Mm, but every hit Dan gets gets him. Oh, wow. Oh, read the rope, but instead setting him up for the Shoryu. Dan just showing that the Shoryu is kind of not okay. <laughs> uh -oh. But that was a nice little setup too, kind of like tease Metal. Like Metal kind of stood there and was like, hey, alright, uh, I can I can punish that. Oh, Shoryu into the face. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of work to make up, but I mean, he is Ryu. He can make it up pretty quick. Oh, yes. Especially if Dan locks him into the uh, to the elbow combo. Oh, he oh, wanted no. that spike. He wanted it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, DK Dan trying to trying to catch Metal on some sort of shield option because he really wants to break that shield. I don't know if miss input or not. I think DK Dan didn't mean to do that. Well, I mean, it did work, so it's yeah. not exactly a bad thing. No, not at all. Oh. Oh. Two hits on the limit on that. Oh, Metal was a little bit too late on that reaction. He could have had a little bit of force smash. He thought, uh, oh my goodness, and DK Dan getting a spike of his own, getting the stock. He saw Metal's like, okay, yeah, you, <laughs> you got that spike on me. I'll get it right back on you, dude. So now I'm going to go uh, game two. Because he's not switching, obviously. I mean, he has no reason to. Oh, of course. All right, go into Smashville. Hmm. So to go right back, the run back, Metal's like, okay, I could have got you game one. So let's go back here. And I get another uh, decent start for DK Dan, but oh my goodness, Metal bringing it right back. And then some. Mm -hmm. Metal coming out a little bit more aggressive in this uh, game than game one, for sure. Because he, he wasn't as in your face in that game one as he is right now. Only thing I'm wondering is how well it's going to hold up later on. That was a wise foot still. I mean, even though I don't know if it's purpose or not, but it definitely helped him get away from the potential setup for the store you can. Oh, and the uh, back here. Wow, really early stock for Metal. Yeah, he's playing aggro. He, uh, he's getting in uh, Dan's face, and right now Dan is not adjusting accordingly. Oh, you sit in shield, grab you. <laughs> Metal, again, fearless, just approaching TK Dan. It's like, okay, I'll just walk up to you, Dan. 
Oh, I, that had to be a missed input or, or at least a misread because there was there's really no reason for him to throw that short here. <laughs> I think he aimed for the balloon at that point. But I think you're trying to meet the roll. Oh my goodness, DK Dan's got to chill with these short years. It, it's, I mean, and know what you're trying to do. He wants to stock very badly, but uh, it's not going to work like that if you're going to keep throwing out the uh, short year. Oh. And, look at the, and look at that. With, with everything right now, Dan is not adjusting, and Metal is just all over uh, DK Dan. He's in a potential to lose the stock. And oh my goodness, wow. Metal, Mega Man, very heavy. He's proven it. Oh, that clash. Still living now. Oh, <laughs> he was trying to, he was thinking he was going to roll, but I don't. Oh, that's right into it, but it got the little sour spot of it. Full Rage Mega Man. Could be a little bit scary. Definitely be, definitely put in the right hands. So full Rage Mega Man could definitely get a lot done. Yeah, the, we, uh, the, again, Dan looking for the shore use again, and he, they just, that can't be his only option to kill. And, in, and, he, and he knows that. Oh, that, I mean, there's a kill option there right is. there. <laughs> Dash tack to the foot. Now, of course you can't count Ryu out. Even at 104%, Ryu can get like a few hits, like that. Get him to about 60. He's already got a fifth of the work done. Yeah. Uh, get, a, get, a 60, like, get him to about 60th uh, range. Get a shore unit and call it a match. And then eliminate a, a metal. But Metal does not want to go out that easy. Metal with his own sure you can. Not paying off though. Now on a backer. That's for the back air. Game two going to Metal. So now we got a tie game. Someone's gonna be going home. I wonder if it's gonna be DK Dan or if one is gonna be Metal. It's a one one. All right, we're going into game three. Jeez, it's the new Discord telling me that I need, really need to turn off notifications. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. You put uh, my, the Discord's on mute for me, except if somebody mentions me. So if you want to mention me on Discord right now, you definitely can. <laughs> You'll definitely get his attention, right? I, I mean, I got like three, I got two and a half screens by, uh, in front of me, so I'm looking at chat. I'm looking at uh, the actual stream to, to switch. Oh. I got the Discord on the other uh, laptop. Oh wow, that's kind of smart actually. All right, Dan's got a somewhat more commanding lead here, but yeah, he, he made some adjustments obviously from game one, and Metal uh, seeing that he's adjusting his game immediately because he was at, like you know a little bit more patient game one, uh, kind of I guess seeing what DK Dan's got to offer was more aggro game two, game three a little bit more in the middle. But being in the middle is actually benefiting, um, damn it looks like, oh, there goes the shield break. He finally got what he wanted. The forward smash will do it. And right now, Metal is on tournament stock. Ooh, Metal trying to two-frame with that down air. Not quite going to do it. And it was funny because DK Dan was looking for that shield break the entire time. And right now, he's all over Metal. He, he's coming back really hard. Metal does not have an answer for DK Dan right now. Uh-oh. That, that hitbox is allowed there. Long, long, 101%. <laughs> my goodness, Dan with the comeback of the century. Oh, my goodness. And Metal definitely had a drop shield. He did not want to get the shield broken again. <clears throat> and that's going to do it. That's it. And the 2-1, DK Dan moves on. Metal getting 7th tied. Range is one-fifth short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ricky's immune. Oh, 